uh, we'll have uh, a little introduction in the starting and then we'll pick the topic for today uh, first we have to understand what is digital marketing right uh, I always say that digital marketing is a baby of marketing so the rules which applies for marketing does applies for digital marketing only uh, what is first thing uh, friends which come into your mind when you think of digital marketing and since you are taking the course there must be some reason to join this course right so what is any one one thing or two things which comes into your mind Ravina, Shiva Shravan you are already part of this so uh, you can just bear it, it will be like a revision for you uh, Ishan Madhuwala can you just reply what is first thing which comes into your mind as digital marketing Shahan is saying coding. Uh, all right. Uh, first, I'll clear your uh, thing, Ishan. Uh, coding is not at all related to digital marketing. I mean, in the whole course, you will never see any coding done or anything related to coding. This is about the course, but I'm generally speaking about uh, digital marketing. Like Shiva is saying, e-commerce, right? Uh, nice. So we are moving towards the business transaction and business modeling. Uh, Facebook advertisement, email marketing, SEO, are these not the words which somehow cross your mind when you think of digital marketing? Yes, say Shiva. What about other Sujit? Ishan says yes. Now, what happens is uh, these are the tools which we use for digital marketing and what our mind does is our mind directly jumps into a uh, thing which is there for execution uh, but since we are covering the whole course in the starting we should be clear about it that we need to understand from the principle point of view we need to understand that uh, digital marketing is a concept and to run that concept and to run that idea you need few tools to do that so SEO has to have a reason to do an SEO so first we'll talk about that reason right uh, or take any example take Facebook promotion social media marketing consider a, a good website all these are part of that now if we divide the whole situation into uh, a general principle of marketing into four parts which is you divided it into product what product you have to offer then you think of how you're going to put it forward placement like for example you may decide of putting a website or going offline as well along with that uh, website for whatever brand or business you are working as a digital marketer too uh, you think of promotion and then the facebook promotion or uh, you know a youtube promotion or doing a little SEO and all this comes so it's a part of communication promotion basically and then what kind of pricing and budgeting you need to fit that so digital marketing also does that but you don't start with promotions you do not directly start with okay now this product is let's do a Facebook promotion there has to be some reason behind it and there also has to be First, you need to check out what product you have on offer. So it starts with product and not with promotion. So whenever you think of any tomorrow, you're going to be a brand manager uh, working as a digital marketing head in some of the company uh, or doing something of your own. First thing which you should consider is that what what is the product on offering? How best I can make that product in itself? Uh, and then you think about what is can be the promotion objective is it an uh, you know awareness which i need to build or a recall i need to build or you know how i'm gonna find the target and how i'm gonna approach and what communication i'm gonna follow so this comes on a later stage first it comes what kind of product you have on offer right and there can be different strategies related to that uh, a very common strategy which google has already been following uh, with most of its products and Facebook 
also does that and there are various companies i mean you think of a company you'll think uh the one of the strategies which they do is especially in the uh in the it space uh, you create a product which you think will have a mass requirement you make it free in the initial basis and you do not you know put a foreclosure that we are gonna just right from the immediate basis we are gonna start making monies and revenue into it you just keep the product on a beta and then you if, if the beta has a good response you make it public uh, at a whole and you start gaining various users once you have a good amount of user base then you see and plug the supply side to have revenue i'll, I'll give you an example uh, search for you is free in google right but for the supplier it is not so let us i'm sorry it may sound a little uh, simple right now uh, but let's start with very very simple things and then go forward so uh, if you're looking to buy something uh, just let me know what i should search for any one thing buy shoes Now you can see, for me as a user, I'm getting enough of information which is absolutely free for me right now, right? Uh, in fact, to the all actions I will be taking, Google has created a platform where for buyers is absolutely free, but for supp for suppliers, now suppliers know that there is a whole chunk of people who will be surfing Google before making a purchase, and this is the area where I can plug for promotion. To promote my brand your brand can be a retail site like amazon or your brand can be a brand in itself like for example nike uh, so this is how uh, mostly the product base are set up and as a digital marketer you need to know this you also need to know a various product differentiates in in the it space like for example uh, when we say of websites uh, there are different kinds of website e-commerce has gained uh, a lot of potential in last let's say four to five uh, years but there are different type of websites and the amalgamation of all results in creating a campaign so as a digital marketer you should be knowing that there are not only e-commerce sites uh, and if you're running a campaign for e-commerce site what part of e-commerce uh, website you are in it can be a website where you sell only your own products uh, you buy products literally keep it on the stock and then you sell it this can be one of your models or you could be a marketplace a marketplace do we guys know what is marketplace Ravina Shiva Shravan Sujit so I'll be touching very very different tones right now uh, so that you just get aware of the lingo, the words, the terminology in digital marketing. So that is the idea right now. And then we'll start a practical sessions one by one, running tools. So do we know what is a marketplace site in e-commerce? Shiva, do we know that? Ravi, Ravina, Ishan. Shiva says no. Om Prakash. Shan says no. All right. Uh, everyone please switch off their microphones uh, all right let's go to Amazon and see e-commerce site okay what I'll, I'll come to the marketplace uh, first la have the base clear you can divide the sites on two bases uh, at a core that it can be a content oriented site where there is no transaction happening where the communication is not full duplex uh, where there is only one side who is giving communication like for example blog sites for example this site when you log into rickelgrover.com I'm taking it as an example <coughs>
when you log into this site you would see that there is no transaction kind of thing which is happening over here there is no retailing you can't buy any product all you can consume the product is you can look onto the content you can check it out if you like it you can comment it that is the best you can do in this so it is a blog oriented site an article a post oriented site and it is a half duplex communication a communication which is happening from my side right so uh, i'll also guide you about various terminology side by side when i say communication or half duplex or full duplex it means uh, if a communication is happening from only one side and the other party has no real time resultant then it is called half duplex communication i'll give an example like earlier they were used to uh, even now they were walkie talkies if you go to an exhibition you'll see that organizers are carrying walkie talkie right what happens in walkie talkie is at one point of time in a pulse of range only one person can speak and everybody else has to listen so it is half duplex but when we say a mobile phone or a telephone that at a, at a at real time at the same point of time there are two people who can speak to each other at, you know at the same pulse so this is full duplex communication i'm using this metaphorically for the website communication don't take the example very literally uh, metaphorically it is only one sided as in nickel grower has or me has decided to give you an content on nickelgrower.com and i want my consumers to come and consume it so this is half duplex communication which i'm running but when i go to let's say amazon.in it's an e-commerce site and if i want to buy this product then i need to feed in i can give a review on that and if in case there is some possibility of making a direct call through this using a smartphone then that so what happens is it's a full duplex communication going on now in e-commerce the difference is there are multiple channels involved there are third parties involved there has to be a logistic partner who can real time check it out uh now if my, let's say for example amazon has decided uh that every product they're going to sell they're going to first buy it as an amazon company they're going to keep it and when you uh, let's say ravina tomorrow orders for that or shiva tomorrow orders for that then the bill is going to come on the name of amazon.in then it is an own sell e-commerce site right so you are keeping the inventory you are billing you are doing the business transaction you are the main guy you are handling everything so it becomes an on on own sell w o w n own sell uh, e-commerce site but when amazon decides here yeah, it will be it, you know i will not have a great scope in doing that because my money will be inv- invested in you know buying stock and all that it is better that i should only create a platform and do a little services where i can get you know a good service after the inventory i mean inventory is purchased by a different seller but what i do is i'll manage the show i'll do the transportation i'll you know make the payments transaction easy do a rating system have a good follow up with the client so that you know i can get give a good service and they decided to open a marketplace now this is called a marketplace where there are different sellers and buyers so sellers are different ultimately the product is sold by a seller the bill will come on his name not on amazon amazon is only an arranger over there right so that is called a marketplace so you think of amazon you think of flipkart you say of mintra uh even jabong now but jabong earlier was only own sell uh there was a time uh from let's say 8 months 9 months uh ago from there they have started coming into marketplace because then it becomes economically viable for them otherwise but jabong basically started with being an own sell so what they do is they link with the uh with the various garment manufacturers and the brands and they say whatever is going to come we are going to first buy it and and sell it right so do, guys clear now what is uh, a marketplace site and what is an own sell site
उसके बाद से एरियस एंड से एरियस या सो व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस बिकॉज़ एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर यू शुड बी नोइंग दैट इफ यू आर वर्किंग फॉर अ मार्केट प्लेस साइट फॉर अमेजन your way of looking into things your campaigning your choosing the tools for campaigning your ideation of working your budgets everything will be different from compared to an old sale here you'll get more visibility more budgets more liberty the idea is to have high numbers very high numbers uh why so because in a marketplace i'll also tell you uh, a little bit about uh, business modeling what happens is when you are a marketplace you have to understand that somebody has invested already into the inventory so you are not keeping inventory major if i if if an mrp of a book is 100 rupees the production and you know everything would have cost somewhere around 30 40 50 rupees i'm just taking a hypothetical example then he is going to keep it there will be a warehousing cost there will be lakhs and crores of money you have already invested and he want an interest on that so what he think is कि अगर अमेजन मेरा बिकवा देगा ना तो सेलर ये सोचता है कि यार मैं उसको चार परसेंट पांच परसेंट दे दूंगा बिकॉज इससे ज्यादा मैं नहीं दे सकता सो टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर एवरी बुक विच यू आर परचेजिंग फ्रॉम अमेजन अमेजन कैश फॉर बुक्स के लिए है फोर परसेंट कमीशन रेट सो वट एवर अमेजन इज सेलिंग लेट्स इफ इफ यू बाइंग अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड रुपीज फ्रॉम अमेजन दर ओनली चार्ज अमेजन इज ओनली गो नो गेट रुपीज फोर एज अ रेवेन्यू आउट ऑफ इट नॉट the 96 rupees 96 rupees will go to whose pocket will go to seller's pocket so now since you have only 4 rupees in one unit how do you do is you have to sell approximately let's say 1000 units at least a day so that you can have that 4000 rupees i'm just taking a hypothetical example so what be, what be, as a digital marketer your challenge becomes higher your challenge becomes that इन ओन सेल वेर यू हैव अ मार्जिन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी रुपीज अगर आपने दस यूनिट भी बेचे तो भी आपका उतना इनकम हो जाएगा लेकिन अगर आपने मार्केट प्लेस के लिए डिजिटल मार्केटिंग करनी है देन यू हैव टू सम हाउ ब्रिंग दी सेल्स ऑफ द सेम प्रोडक्ट टू द लेवल ऑफ एट टू टेन टाइम्स मोर ऑफ वट यू कैन बी कम्फर्टेबल इन सेलिंग एन ओन ओन सेल सो ईशान ओम प्रकाश क्लियर टेल है शेवा बिटवीन but now very important uh whenever you start a course this is something which i always want to share with everyone who is attending for the first time uh whenever you start any any course in on digital marketing you uh, also think of yaar pura course karne ke baad what can be the expectation of uh the industrial side you know uh so all you have to do is you have to concentrate more towards how to run the tool i mean uh, what should be the objective of the campaign how i'm going to achieve that campaign and not only learning where in in the tool i need to go and do the activities like for example how to use a google adword will only become significant to the level of 20 30% because it's only execution aap ek bar dekhenge tool kaise chalta hai facebook ka dekhenge seo ka dekhenge aapko samajh aa jayega ki tool kaise chalta hai but that is not the end of the game because tool chalana seekhna is very easy they say you're going to learn very quickly also it is what you have to do kaun se keywords lene chahiye kitna promotion karna chahiye kya bidding range rakhni chahiye kya analyze karke mujhe dekhna hai ki kya main sahi kar rahe hain ki nahi kar rahe so that analysis before and after for each campaign that is something which is of more importance because that is what will be expected out of you not a studio kind of expect expectation ki theek hai tool chalana aana chahiye tool chalana is very easy so you should not be only hands you should be mind so this is what as an example i just put it on quinto is an um, uh, it's a food based uh, business they have so when they are expecting a digital marketer in a higher position uh, this is what they ask this is their quote this is if you're going to give a good response they're going to hire you there is only one question 
they ask you for a product like quint or a product like us which are into the, you know uh, a food review sites and all that if you have to get back with 100000 users in 24 weeks what will be your theory how you are going to do it yeah and you have to back it with numbers so you are expected that so 70% is your is your idea your brain your how to manage that execution or running of tools is only 30% of the job right so my suggestion to you going forward with every session is practice whatever we are going to learn practice it to the level that you understand various cases you understand various situations and you practice it so much that it becomes easy for you to run the challenge at different stage uh, of the brand you are working for because every brand will have a different objective at different point of time a nike will have a different objective to puma right now for online digital marketing their strategy can be different bata will have a different strategy and same for any other category so if you are starting your objectives become different you are in a growth stage your objectives become different your digital marketing styles become different your promotion become different your creators become different so you should be in a position to understand and execute it well right so uh, we we got to cover topic by topic uh, and every topic which you are going to learn i request you to practice it with different permutations and combinations till the time we do not cover, we do not start covering the second topic so we will have a gap of one week in between just practice for example if we are going to cover email marketing then practice email marketing a lot try to make different emails send it to your friends and ask for the responses usme se kam hai dhoondne ki koshish karo and try to run that right uh what it till here any problem any question which you guys want to ask मार्केट अब See, do not consider yourself as a digital marketer after this course. You are a marketer, right? So you are not only digital marketer. You are everything will evolve around how a pure brand guy thinks and works, right? And the more you are gonna think and execute your digital marketing activities, the better results in terms of your own growth as well as the end result for the brand will be. so uh, one more question do we guys know in in advertisements or in marketing sphere or in, even in digital marketing uh, there is a terminology called creative and media so do we guys knows what is a difference between creative and media ishan do we know that ishan says no and I, i want response from everyone in this please be participator ravina says ravi says no ravina says no shiva and sujit also says no Okay, so since nobody knows that, I'll I'll be letting you know. Think of it. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'll I'll try to uh, clear you guys, uh, including Shiva, and then let me know why you're thinking on the same lines or not. Uh, think of this, a Spider Man, right? So we have two aspects right now. We have a human being who is carrying Spider Man itself, right? And the same way every advertisement goes. Let's check out for advertisement. Let's start with online advertisement only. So, sure, give me your uh, a favorite brand. Do you remember any uh, online advertisement? Last online advertisement of any brand. Anybody? Anybody else can also let me know.
Okay, let me know a video which you like to see in YouTube. Any genre, comic videos or web series. Let's make it interactive. If I am going to need speak it monotonously, that will get too bored. Angry Birds. <laughs> this is my nephews. I don't know if we're going to have added that. Okay. Now I was looking for this video, the Angry Bird video. And I got an ad over here. Right? The promotion. Now as a digital marketer, let's assume that you have decided that whosoever is going to surf Angry Bird video in YouTube uh, as a Ford Figo Aspire brand manager, digital brand manager, I'm going to put this ad over here. Now, in order to make the ad and then decide when and how much to spend, you have to perform, guys, various activities. First, you need to decide where you need to put the ad. I mean, not first, but you can decide in any order. But there are a few activities you have done is, A, you have decided that you are going to put it on YouTube. B, you have decided the length of the ad. C, you have decided that this ad will be on this guideline. There will be a dog standing. There will be a, you know, uh, a person standing with such an attire. There will be a product will be displayed on a two-third of the area and not the... If you look at it closely and be, be critical to every communication, you see it from now on. You see that on the space of it, you'll see that approximately 60 to 70 percent of the area has been a, is right now in a position of the brand. So brand has been has been decided that the brand should have a higher visibility in a frame. In a frame, you have a lesser visibility for the messenger, but more for the product. Now, as a digital marketer, you uh, depending upon uh, you know what your say is in the brand. You will have a contribution to make into the creative side as well as on the media side. The creative is to decide a creative to make it up, right? And media is the host. You know, YouTube is the media which you decide. If I want to do Facebook, then Facebook will become a media. So when you are deciding media, you decide Facebook me karenge, YouTube me karenge, or let's say Rodi's ki side pe karenge. Now these are three medias which you have decided for example so this will be media the host for any advertisement a creative is basically what the ad is which you create you're painting the ad right now so if you're deciding that you are going to pick a red guard that's a part of creative and if you're deciding that you know this will be the guy standing and this will be the particular guy will be standing or selecting that so that will become creative right so when you make an ad, there are two aspects you work on. On TV, mein koi ad dekhe, so there are two agencies for brands which are working differently. One is creative and one is creative. Hai. Us, they are very good in making the ad. You don't have to give them a clear ad. You do ad you release it for today's day. Or you release it in colors. Or you are going to release it in let's say, MTV. That call will be of a media agency. But as a digital marketer, you need to have the understanding of creative as well as media. You are more inclined towards media. Let's be also quite upfront and honest about it. Because you have to add Google mein ad karna hai, or Google ke tools hai, through AdWords or AdSense. You have Facebook mein promotion kar rahe through Ad Messenger. You have to communicate with YouTube mein promotion kar rahe ho through Google AdWords. Whatever you're going to do this will be a more of a media job. But yes, as a digital marketer, people do not like to invest more on creatives as a brand. So what they do is that you do So you're going to put your hand into creatives as well. Right? So this course will not guide you anything about creatives. That is a very subjective uh, discussion. So, but try to enhance your skills on creative by, by looking into every the promotion which you're gonna see from now on so that will become uh, so when when you think about this spider-man example uh, this human body is a media it's a host which is carrying that and spider-man is it's the concept of spider or spider-man is the creative right so got it till here ishan madhu om pragash ravina what is creative and what is uh, Shiva, Sujit?
yes so if i there is an india sri lanka series going on right and if i say a uh, holding of gioni into that uh, can you just a red color uh, holding of gioni on to the ground side place uh, what do you suggest is media or creative in this Guys, I'm waiting for the answer. Let's say there is a cricket match going on, and there is let's say hide and seek card going on in that, and there is one holding, there is one a signage onto the boundary, uh, where there is a photograph of Ritik holding a hide and seek biscuit in his hand. uh and a blue color background this is where you see the uh, ad this is how you see the ad now what is media in this example and creative in this example what do you say is the media and what do you say is it creative but i'm not getting any response no i didn't get you you are outside team i'm saying there is an ad going see you are watching a match and you got to see on a boundary line there is a a small holding which displays an ad of hide and seek right and in that ad you could see a face of ritik roshan holding a hide and seek biscuit a blue color background and all that in this example what is media and what is creative ritik roshan media no ritik roshan is creative sorry because you have decided that you are going to put the photograph of ritik roshan that is the creative so you are making the creative you are making the art work right that holding is the media that cricket ground is the media so when you decide that you are going to place a holding and not do an online advertisement you are deciding upon media right what to display on an ad ad dikhega kaise wo hota hai creative ad kahan par aayega wo hota hai media in very simple easy terms right so if i see a ad a tv commercial between the match set setbacks is the media which i choose setbacks channel aur jo ad jaisa dikh raha hai wo creative part hai jisko shoot kara gaya in tv commercial now got it so here youtube is the media and this creative which you can see is the creative right so everybody clear now all right uh this will be of all importance okay i'll just quickly run through on this illustration uh let's say you are a cowboy and uh, you have decided to open a new saloon Uh, a gambling, a playing salon, uh, in a new city which you have come. You do not do not know the city, but you somehow thought that yeah, there is potential and I can do this business. And you want a good traffic out of it, a good hangout place you have opened, and you want different people to come in over there. 
what i'll try to demonstrate with the example simultaneously i'll try to demonstrate various tools various avenues various verticals of digital marketing which you can use as digital marketer and in turn i'm also simultaneously going to let you know kahan par aapko as a digital marketer putting yourself into the advertiser's shoe where you need to spend money where it will be free and how you, and there will be few avenues where you can also earn also so uh, if you look onto the example slide by slide you will see a, a mark of green yellow or red displayed over there right so if you have any query in between you can just prompt me a question in between right so taking this example you have, you have opened a new pub a cowboy pub and the first thing which you do is you you try to make it searchable right if anybody is looking to have a pub if uh, to hang out if you if somebody is looking to have a good game of poker along with a beer you want people to know about it so you want to make it searchable so that is the first thing which you do as a digital marketer also you try to make it that way so you make your website you try to design your pub in that way that it becomes more searchable and then you touch upon various avenues like google i'll i'll come to that so that is the first thing which you do in order to do that you will have two options aap ek kaam kar sakte hai ki aap city mein ghoom sakte hai aur ghoom ke aas paas ke jo aur koi shop khule hue hain unko ja ke bol sakte hai yaar open new why don't you just refer me uh if somebody comes and they being a good चेवल से ठीक है ठीक है कोई आपके बारे में पूछेगा तो वेल लेट यू राइट एंड इन ऑर्डर टू डू दैट यू रीच इज टू अ जंक्शन इन टू दैट सिटी अ मेन जंक्शन विच इज लेट्स अज्यूम इज द ओनली जंक्शन इन दिटी वेरी वेरी मेन जंक्शन देर इज ओनली वन पान वाला ओवर दैट पनवाड़ी है जो वहीं पे बैठता है एंड ही इज द टॉक ऑफ द टाउन किसी को कोई सजेशन लेना होता है तो उससे पूछते हैं कोई गप्पे मारनी होती है तो वहां जाके मारते हैं ही इज दी वन हु इज द मेन नोटिस बोर्ड ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ मैन ऑफ द सिटी राइट एंड यू थिंक कि मेरे को सबसे बेस्ट मेरे लिए है कि मैं इस पान वाले को अप्रोच कर लूँ किसी तरह बिकॉज एवरीबडी टॉक्स विद दैम पान किराना सब कुछ जिससे लोग खरीदते हैं पीपल आज फॉर सजेशन एंड दिस इज द मेन गाय नाउ वेन यू अप्रोच दिस पान वाला you you get to see that you have opened a very flashy kind of pub very thin check kind of pub you know a good music going on very aspirational high kind of infrastructure but in the city there was also one simple wala pub right and that pub owner uh, since it was there from last 2 years was a regular visitor to smoke a cigarette in this pan wala shop and he has been regularly going on and now you approach us and then you have you also have money is in your pocket aap pan wale ke paas jate ho aur aap pan wale se kehte ho yaar maine naya pub khola and i want you to approach it or uh, you to tell people that it it's been opened and you see that there is another pub wala who is standing uh, besides you who has been a regular customer to that and has become friends with that pan wala now what happens is I come into the, I'm a resident of the city and I come and I say, "Yar, I'm very tired. Hoon. The work is workload is so much these days. This weekend I'm trying to go to one of the good pubs here. Our, our city, me, I don't know where it is. Nahi. And now, this pan wala have two options in his hand. Now, after that, two pubs were there to tell him. He has to tell him. If Panwala, a day pirer, when I have approach, uh, I mean, as a pub owner, when you have approach to the Panwala, or you, you have told me that, hey, man, why don't we do this thing? That you have to refer me, and he said, I will refer you, but one thing, man, whatever you will get, I will charge you ten rupees. And you need a good audience in the starting, and you said, okay, I am ready to pay that. Whereas the other pub wala becomes a friend of it. and it says to kisi ab maine aake pucha to mere ko kyunki maine 
आपने दस रुपए दे रखे हैं यू आर रेडी टू पे दैट पार वाला रिप्लाईज वेरी इन अ वेरी गुड वे नाउ सिंस ही हैज बीन आज अ क्वेश्चन इट इज इज ड्यूटी टू रिप्लाई वी कैन नॉट नॉट रिप्लाई सो वट ही हैज डन इज ये सेट एक नया पब खुला है बहुत अच्छा है मतलब देख लो ये ही उसमें फीचर्स हैं एक बार जाके देख लेना एंड ऑन दी सेकेंड एन सेट ठीक है कोई और भी हो सकता है हाँ एक और है वो भी अच्छा है काफी टाइम से एंड ऑल दैट सो एट फर्स्ट इंस्टेंट वट इज ट्राइंग टू डू इज हिल पान वाला इज अ गूगल राइट नाउ एंड वेन यू गो टू गूगल the first thing which is response to a query let's say for example you want to go to a good pub in delhi you could see that there is an ad over here so he, it's you right now who are ready to pay to google and if i go over here and click it for in in our example if i go to pub that pan wala is going to charge 10 rupees and if i click over here google is going to charge 10 rupees for me or whatever you have uh, set for clicking it out and this is the other pub owners who are, who are who are here and this is called a paid ad here on the top and these are called the organic non paid ads because they are from that long time that google has become friendly with them and known them uske bare mein ek reputation ek vote ho raha hai uh, community mein uh, internet community mein and they understand so this is how the google works like that pan wala got it ravi suji so when google replies there could be two option and this is search engine optimization the organic result i mean search engine optimization is the way to have a higher listing so that we can have a result on the top organically so here you are not spending anything on buying the space all you are spending is the hard work which you are going to do around it right whereas over here you are just making an ad and putting it across and based on the uh, bidding amount you are uh, google is going to charge money so right yes okay. then google have various tools uh in order to run its business now google have various by products also it's not only search product youtube is a part of google google maps is another product there are various other google products now what happens is if you are working as an advertiser and you are ready to spend money and you are on to the supply side of the brand then the tool which you have to use to run the campaign run the ads uh, is called google adwords this is an introductory section so i'm just giving a glimpse of every thing and we'll cover every topic right from email marketing to seo to google adwords ads and everything in detail giving one or two sessions each right so that's google adwords and let's say you are a let's say for example tvf or Uh, AIB or any other or you open a channel where you m- make videos and upload it on YouTube and you feel that there are people coming on to it right and you see that there are many people are coming on to it if so many people coming on to it why don't i start earning from that or you have a website a blogging website where you see that there are good amount of traffic and i have a space to put a banner ad for a different advertiser why don't i cash on that so tomorrow if on nikhilgrover.com which is a blogging site and you're reading this article and you start looking on to these ads over here then i'll be the one who will be earning out of that ads and the tool which i used to set up 
this kind of infrastructure that is called Google AdSense, right? So that is the difference between Google AdSense and AdWords. When you are an advertiser, when you are spending monies, then you are using the tool to run a campaign to make an ad and then to run it on the various platform of Google through Google AdWords. You can run a text ad, you can run a, a display ad, a banner, an image oriented ad, and you can also run a video ad in YouTube and Google partner sites. That is a tool which you use is called Google AdWords. And if you are the host and you have a product in, in, in internet world, and you want to create a base and earn money out of it to give a space uh, and become a Google partner and then you will get uh, a good ads in return then you'll become a and uh, then the tool which you have to use is called Google Adsense. got it Ravi Ravina Mukesh Om Prakash yeah hi Shubham uh, you have just come Yeah, hi. Shubham, uh, uh, guys, I'm just pausing in between to let uh, Shubham know. Uh, there was some miscommunication which happened. Uh, the 830 batch was supposed to be a 2 to 4 batch, and there was a, uh, a mixed kind of batch for, for all of you of 830 to 1030, as well as the uh, the trainees were there for the demo or the first session. Uh, but what happened is when we started the session at two o'clock, uh, I guess you were not informed, you guys were not informed properly. So nobody amongst you turned up. But what happened is almost everyone who has turned up will were having their first session. So instead of taking an already, already going on topic of Google AdWords part two, uh, I've decided to do this because they won't have understood it. Now, since you have come at right now, it you may have already covered this. Uh, so, you have to bear a little recap kind of thing for today's session. Because if I start teaching Google AdWords now, none, none of them is going to understand, especially part two. Yeah, got it, Shivan. All right. Uh, fine. Uh, no, Shubham, we don't have any class in the evening today. All right, so what we are doing is, uh, friends, we are giving a keeping a break of two three minutes. If in case you want that, do you guys want break to have a water and all that? So if in if in case you guys want a break, we can have break for five minutes and then we'll resume. Friends, uh, do you want uh, a break of five minutes or shall we continue? Okay, so we do. So it is five minutes. You are saying no. Any more responses? So I am good to go continuously, but uh, in different batches, I get a, uh, a request that should have a two, three, five minutes break in between at least. Ravi, you are a minority friend. <laughs> All right, so what I'll do is rather than having a five minute break, we'll just have a, a two minute break. So right now it is 15, 13, 15, 15, we'll back. Just a pause of two minutes. 
we are all right Ravi. so we are having a two minute break in between and then we'll resume All right, friends. All right, so let us take a topic for today. All right, let's start with website management. Uh, rather than on the promotion front. See friends, uh, in order to have a website, uh, of course you need a developer, a coder to do that. Uh, but for guys like you and me who do not have an experience of coding who do not know that uh, there are various cms uh, content management systems in between who already have infrastructure in place and they give us a panel to create a site or to manage that site on our own and this is how we are going to learn today uh, and then gradually we'll start moving towards email promotion and you know Facebook promotion, Google AdWord, AdSense, and other remarketing stuff and all that. So first thing first, let's have a, a base ready. Let's have work on a website first. So today we'll we're gonna see a CMS called WordPress. That is one of the most suggested word CMS to use. So uh, technically, a CMS is basically a software, a content management system in between where it's the infrastructure is already ready to create a website and you basically start making it on a uh, on their admin panel uh, if you see a front end of this site this site was not coded at all i mean coded in the sense it got coded through a cms but uh, nobody has coded it specifically a separate Technical developer has not been hired for this. Everything which you see over here was done through an admin panel. So what happens is, in order to have a website, the first thing first you need to have a domain name. In order to have a domain name, you can check out to various sites like GoDaddy or the other stuff and book a domain name of your choice which you want to do. Then you can approach to various hosting services 
to have that site hosted what does a domain name and a hosting means do we guys know the difference between two and whosoever is not clear just say yes they are not clear i'll try to demonstrate it ravina ravi ravi says i know all right but in a very layman term i'll try to explain it again Okay, since you guys anyways know the yes. Now you bought the domain. You got the address. Yes, like your website name. Very right, Navina. That's what a domain name is. Like for example, nickelgrove.com over here. Now, in order to people to see that site, that site has to be physically placed somewhere, be sitting somewhere in some computer, in some server, right? It has कहीं पे तो ये पेज बने हैं, right? So that what happens is when somebody strikes on a browser nickelgrower.com, it goes as a pointer to one of the system in this world कहीं पे computer कहीं पे है जहाँ पे वो hit करता है, वहाँ पे files पड़ी हुई हैं of nickelgrower.com वहाँ से fetch करता है और आपको दिखाता है. So there is a database somewhere sitting. वेर जहाँ पे सारी रिकॉर्ड हो रही हैं जो भी हम यहाँ पे टाइप कर रहे हैं या इमेजेस हैं एट द सेम टाइम इट हैज अ फिजिकल एड्रेस टू इट्स सेल्फ इन सम कंप्यूटर और दी अदर दैट एड्रेस कैन बी प्लेस्ड ओवर हेयर इन इंडिया इन माय रूम आल्सो बट इन ऑर्डर टू मेंटेन अ गुड सर्वर विद अ गुड रिस्� that is why what we do is there are there are company have already in, invested in only managing servers and give on a lease like they are giving you uh, a domain name on a lease the same way they give you on a lease they give you a server space for let's say 5 gb 10 gb 15 gb 100 gb unlimited whatever so that you have a uh, you know uh, it, it becomes affordable to you to have that right so that is in order to have that space on lease you need to have that is called web hosting basically so you are taking a hosting space on rent got it Ravina All right. So there are various hosting sites where you can uh, go and have that hosting space. Like for example, hostgator.com. This is one of the renowned, but there are various. So you can make a choice of your own and you can just go and buy whatever plans you feel like will be uh, more suitable to you as per your requirement right and for wordpress now the companies are offering a dedicated wordpress hosting so you can buy it directly from them or let's say godaddy or any other service provider if you buy that what you see is as soon as you install it uh, you will see that you will get a admin panel like this with a user id and a password so let's assume there is no front end right now for nickelgrower.com and as soon as you purchase the web hosting plan you got to the admin panel of the site so this is the back end of the site and this is the front end of the site so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simultaneously open the front end as well so this is the back end 
at this is the front end. Yeah. <clears throat> now, when for the very first time you're gonna install it, you're gonna see that the default theme in appearances section when you now this is the left panel, the panel which you are gonna go to various attributes and can function that. I'll start doing that with post, but right now I'm just giving I'm just taking you to the basic theme because this was not the basic theme. By default, you get a theme called 2016. In WordPress so this is the theme which you get 2016 right this is the theme which you get so there is no uh, a banner space over here it's a simple theme and all that and then you can start making different pages of the website now website is nothing but summation of pages website is basically a main address but inside it there are various pages so if you go to nickelgrover.com and you click on to anything you will see that it will have a different address to it so this was a home page nickelgrover.com nickelgrover slash about is a different page right if i go to this particular article then it will have its own address if i start reading this go to this page this will have its own address. You can see nickelgrover.com slash this is this. If I go to a contact me page, this will be this address. So a website is nothing actually, but a summation of pages, right? So when you manage a website or when you create a website or when you make a website, you basically are doing nothing but making different pages, right? So it is like constructing a house. You're constructing various rooms one by one. Now in this WordPress CMS, you'll get, when you reach to your backend, uh, you'll see that you'll get five, six uh, sections in dashboard. The first section is at a glance. It'll, it, it's basically a summary kind of page. Dashboard is nothing but it summarizes the website for you. And you will be surprised to know that there will be hardly any time you'll be spending on dashboard. So, uh, but just for your reference and this should not look an alien infrastructure to you. I'm just letting you know what are these. So it's a, it's a at a glance mojo where you can, you know, uh, where you can just check out uh, what different posts and pages you have done. So this theme which I've right now included is more of a blogging kind of post oriented theme. So that is why it has divided post and pages into different sections. You can have a corporate theme, you can have an e-commerce theme, and then it will also appear the same way, but it will have a different uh, weightage in between. And uh, in WordPress, you'll also fi always find in any theme, you'll find this quick draft kind of thing. So uh, even if you're creating an e-commerce site or a company site, it is suggested to have a blogging page and article page so that whatever you feel like writing and communicating to consumers, you can do that. And in, if you are a blogging site, then then of course you're going to need that anyways. So WordPress provides you a quick draft wala kind of uh, page where you need not to go to a post section and then write down uh, post over there. Uh, sometimes what happens is when you're thinking of writing something it just crosses your mind the ideas start crossing your mind and it's not very framed and you're not in a position to write the whole uh, you know 2000 letter blog at that point of time you're busy somewhere else so you can just as a title you can start it and you can just quick uh, draft it and save it so this is for that uh, I purchased uh, this uh, WordPress uh web hosting from godaddy so that's why there is one section for godaddy also with the latest updates and wordpress news where they give their latest news and all that uh this is regarding a plugin i'll get to plugin then let you know otherwise you'll get confused so ignore it right now and then on the side you could see that there are different pages now and 
and there are different blogs there are different articles written over there now let's start one by one so if you are let's say you want to have a uh, write down one blog and put it on the side this is how to go about it there is a section called post you need to go post and you want to go to all posts this is basically a main a dashboard only for posts right now right so here you could see that these are the posts which are already written author by this id category and all that and all that so here you can go and do the editing and all that if in case you want and if you want to write a new you can go to add new type it so let's say you want to write a new so you put a title let's say for example a new surprising Awesome Sunday batch. Right, and as soon as you do that, it automatically makes a URL for you. Now, this is called the URL over here, right. Unique resource locator. Technically, it is called URL. So it is basically the address of the page, and it makes a link for you. Here you can also change it. So nikhilgrover.com will anyways remain permanent. And after that, if in case you want to change it, you can change it. You can name anything, right? And then you start writing it. Like for example, you write today about to start a new batch. There were awesome trainees. Trainees, a couple of them. Like, let's say we name a few Ravina, Sujit. I'll tell you why I'm writing these names and everybody else. Very curious in learning new concepts. Right? Suppose I write this. Now, here I can play it around. Suppose I want to, uh, or I want to give it a title first. So, I give it a title. A new batch right so I can select that I can select one of the headings it is always recommended I'm also simultaneously guiding you about little bit about uh, a good optimization of website so that search engine can fetch you very quickly so it's a part of search engine optimization whenever you write any or make any page put it at a headline because it searches accordingly so there are six bands six h1 to h6 so you can use anything which you like and let's say for example i use h2 so give it a title and then here it is paragraph and i i want to i mean use it the way i use an ms word right 
and in that let's say for example uh, I want to have a an external link to it if somebody re reads that and clicks over here it should reach to Ravina's let's say Facebook page so what I can do is I can select that go, go and click on to insert and write down the address of the page I want it as a landing page if somebody clicks on that so facebook.com slash for example Ravina and all that whatever that ID is for a so for reference I'm using it right now this just for reference right or Ravina if you want to share the Facebook ID uh, Facebook URL with me you can So let it be like that and then you click on add link same way you can do it for Sujit so in your content there will be a position where you want to give external links and sometimes internal link like for example uh, on clicking of Sujit for example uh, if I wanted to reach to an internal link internal as in in nickelgrove.com only to any other page so I can write down that page whatever that address that address can be about also add link right got it friends now you want to add a new picture in that you want to add an image in that so what you need to do is you need to go and click on to add media and let's say let's say you want this image for example right you select that and you Here you'll, if you want to put a caption, you can put a caption like DMP and description. You can also align it. Uh, alignment I'll demonstrate you from the existing one because there you need to have a greater content. I'll, uh, if you if in case you align it on the left, what happens is the image will be on the left hand side and the text will be on the right hand side i'll demonstrate you from uh, the existing uh, post which was already written you can also link that for example if somebody clicks onto that uh, as a user is reading the uh, blog reading on the, the page and if you click on that image that image should reach to another landing page let's say onto the dmp site so what i can do is i can custom url and write down the DMP Archana.com. I can also do that. If in case you don't want that, you can click onto the media file, it will enlarge. So if you, somebody clicks onto that, it will pop up as a big image. So it will be your choice. The links are already there, so I'll keep it as it right, let's keep it as it is. Then it's also it's showing you the size of the image. Okay. Uh since it's an introductory class, do we understand what what is the size of an of any image? <coughs> what is the unit? Like for example, in a newspaper, at the unit is centimeter or inches. In a holding, it will be feet. At a holding is of let's say forty feet by twenty feet. Uh, yes so unit over here is pixels so it is basically into 120 by 76 pixels what do we understand by 120 into 76 width into height right and related to that there is a terminology called aspect ratio do we know what is aspect ratio Do 
Do we know what is aspect ratio? Yeah. All right. Aspect ratio is basically uh, a ratio of width into height. So what happens is if the size is 120 by 76, let's say 120 by 76. So what I do is I divide it by the lower denominator. Will become one so what happens is the ratio becomes one is to 1.57 is to one so when a creative guy a designer is going to make that creative will make that creative into this ratio 1.58 is to one what i can do is with that ratio i can take it to any size as long as it is in the ratio of one 1.5 is to one got it that is why it is called aspect ratio so if a uh, if, I, if it is 100 by let's say 100 by 20 pixels so the ratio will be of 5 is to 1 aspect ratio even if i take it to the size of let's say for example 400 by 80 the aspect ratio will be same 5 is to 1 so designer will not make into different pixels it will only make an image into 5 is to 1 and i can put it forward as long as it it's in a higher TPI. Got it? Om Prakash, Ravina, Ravi, Sujit. Okay. And then you insert it. On the right hand side, now since you have written down the post, now you will complete it by adding it to different categories and all that. So let's say you want to add into the category of no category as such written over. So you want to add it into a new category. Let's say batch mates. And if you want to make it a parent, you can make it uh, another parent and subcategory. Write down and you want to add few tags. So if somebody search for that, we'll write down one word. We'll be able to come up uh, to your this block. So let's say you write down batch mates. Uh, digital marketing so if somebody searching for this you are at uh, your this page or post should come up so you can add tags into it and then you will also add a feature image big image which will come on the top so I'm not adding it here because I already have feature image I will demonstrate you from there and this will be an example with no feature image basically and then now it's up to you if you think that you have completed it you can publish it straight away or you can save it in a draft uh, visibility is again up to you now uh, you want it to be visible to the public we'll keep it public right now or you can keep it a password protected so what happens in password protected if I select on password protective, I can put a password for it. Let's say I put a password nickel for it. So what happens is I if in order for you, Om Prakash, Sujit, Ravina to see it, you need to have that password. So when you log into it and it will ask for a password, if you put in nickel over there, then it will be open for you. Otherwise it won't. I don't want that right now. And then so what happens also Let's say for example today is Valentine's Day and you think of writing something related to Valentine's Day on your site. Uh, but let's say you are sitting on 10th, you got an idea, written it down, uh, but you you want to put it straight away. Uh, rather than putting it straight away, you want it that it should be uh, coming onto the site on 14th only. And it should automatically come. I should not go log in and then I may forget to do it. You may think about that. So what you can do is 
you can publish a date and time for it so what happens is automatically around that date and time it will get published so you need not to uh, you know log in again and then punch it again and publish it again all right so we are going with publishing it published when you check out on to the site you could see that it would have come see a new surprising and awesome sunday batch has come and a recent post also it is coming so i can just it was on this date it is published and if again case you guys can also check into your uh, browser also so Simultaneously, you can open a new tab into your browser and check it out also. So, and now we'll check on these links. If I click on Ravina, I'll reach to whatever link I've set. I click to Sujit. I'll reach to whatever I've set. I click on this. I'll reach to whatever I've set. Oh, sorry. right got it good nice any doubt friends till here How did you find the session, friends? Where we are gonna close it right now because the other topics are gonna some take some time. It won't be finished. You can ask me any question if in case you wanna do that. We'll for five ten minutes we'll have few questions today. Anything, anything related to digital marketing, any doubts about the session which we covered today. So simultaneously, I'm sharing this link with you. Uh, it's a feedback link. You can just go to that. It will hardly take a minute of yours. Uh, please fill the feedback form uh, along with the ratings and do write the comments as well, so that I know subjectively how you like the session. Right. So please fill that. Uh, it is a little mandatory because that's help us to decide how to go about it on the following sessions. And once you're done with that, just write down done, and then you will. In the meanwhile, you can also chat with me right now, and just let me know any query which you have, or any doubts. Yes, Sujit. What do you want to know about Facebook marketing? I mean, what is your query?
Thanks, Ravi. Thank you. We'll cover Facebook marketing in the following session. Uh, so there you'll get to know how you can do Facebook marketing and run that. Thanks, Ravina. Anything, any query, anything which you want to ask? So Facebook marketing in itself is a, a, a lengthy subject. So just to let you know in one line will be a little difficult. What we do is we first try to understand what kind of different ads you can do in Facebook marketing. Then running a tool in the Facebook called Ads Manager will make a campaign, run it, uh, run an ad, how to make that ad, how it will be visible, how to select the target audience, where to go and select the bidding rate and all that. We'll run everything and make a campaign, a Facebook campaign uh, in one session. So Facebook marketing will dedicate it to one session. Uh, you can check out few videos also, friends. Uh, in order to have a little, uh, you know, knowledge on the subject before, uh, you know, attending the main session. Sir, kindly tell me, Om Prakash, can you tell me about the types of digital marketing? Is TV ad also a part of digital marketing? Tell me about No, TV ad is not a part of digital marketing. Uh, Okay, uh, you can divide uh, advertisement on various respects. TV ad, TV commercials is one. TV uh, advertisement, then print. Print will include newspapers, magazines, and all that. Then uh, outdoor advertisement, which is like coding, bus shelters, which you see on the road. Radio advertisement on the radio. Then you see uh, uh, BTL uh, below the line, one to one direct, like for example leaflets or putting up a canopy. Uh, in, in front of a society gate and all that. Uh, these are called BTL and all that. And then online or digital marketing, where in a virtual world you'll be able to say it can be through your smartphone or desktop or laptops, you know. So that is called online or digital marketing. Uh, then you are asking about on page and off page SEO. Uh, SEO in itself is again a wider subject. On page will have a one particular session itself. Off page will also have one particular session itself separately. So just to tell you in in one line will be difficult. But yes, what I can say uh, in summary way is an on page optimization is like for example we have written a post, right? In in that once you are putting a content on the website, whatever you are doing within the website, like for example URL me kya hona chahiye, focal keyword kaha kaha pe involve hona chahiye. Keyword kaise search karte hain, kaun se keywords ko select kara jata hai, content mein kitni baar aana chahiye, you know, external links kya hote hain, internal links kya hote hain, robot.txt kya hota hai, around that anchor links kya hote hain, all these activities are on-page activities, whereas everything which is outside your website, and let's say for example backlinks you are getting, you are there in the various directories and people talking about you that is called off page and in itself it has various sub subjects in itself so in one in nutshell what you are trying through seo is you are not paying anybody else extra you are just optimizing it so efficiently that search engine when being searched for particular queries which you want to be searched for you should be picked on the top and it will take a good amount of time in order to optimize the pages and it does not have a real time or very quick response like uh, paid advertisements sometimes it takes months and years to optimize it to that level all right friends Ravina, Om Prakash, Sujit, Om Prakash you got the answer any query how did you like the session friends? I know you have filled the form but just to discuss it here. Was it worthy? Alright, thank you. Thanks. Nice. Good. Alright friends, so I guess it's time to go and bid bias. Uh, see you next week or whatever next session you have with me.
uh, all right uh, just for reference if in case you have any do doubts this is my number and email id uh, i am only discharging my duties in dmp only as a trainer so for any admin related queries i will not be able to solve so for example coach length batch timings and all that and all that but related to subject i'm i'm always there you can contact me anytime and when i'll be free i'll be responding on that right all right thank you thanks bye bye